guys, welcome back. So today um, I'm going to be doing a what's in my, an updated what's in my bag um, video for you. I haven't done one of these, I'd probably say it was about a year ago and um, I've been trying to pull away from using larger bags, mainly just for extra pressure on my shoulders or if you're carrying it around like in your, um, like in the crease of your elbow and it just kind of like sometimes it just gives me too much like arm ache and I'm thinking am I needing to carry everything around with me that I do so I kind of wanted to move to a smaller bag that wasn't too small but small enough that I, it didn't feel too heavy for me but it was it had everything that I needed in it so the bag that I'm showing you today um is this bag that I got oh that's like the wrong way around like they are black on this side um is this Zara bucket bag and it's not leather um, so if you're vegetarian or vegan, um, then you would be alright with this. It's just one of these black bucket bags, it's got a, um, a buckle just on the side here. It's got the nice little pulleys on the front. It was 29 99 and I bought it not too long ago actually. I did um, a haul video, maybe two weeks or so back, um, which if you haven't seen I'll have that link down below for you guys if you're interested. And um, I showed it then, so it's not that old, it's only a couple of weeks so they should still have them hopefully um, in stock because I bought it online and it's just got these really nice tassels on the side with the gold detailing and then you can just pull the um, bag tighter here and then just on the inside is a little clasp so I'm just going to pull stuff out of my bag to show you what I've got in it um, it's not too heavy but it's a, like it's um, it is really full up um, but it's a really good size bag which I really like and I thought I could take it on holiday with me it's all right for work it's a perfect for the weekends um, so yeah, so I'm just going to start pulling stuff out. So first thing in here is my purse, which was in my last one, uh, my last what's in my bag video. And it's the, one of the Ted Baker kind of bobbly um, purses. But yeah, I've had it for a couple of years now. I love it. It's still in really good condition. I'm not going to show you everything that's in there. Um, but yeah, I really like it. And it's the one with the two pink little hearts on the top. So that's really cute. Next, I've got this... Um, other little Ted Baker bag which um, I think it was in not my last one but in my one before and I really I sort of not rediscovered it because I already had it but I kind of I found it again and I thought actually you know what it's really pretty and it's nice and bright colours um, I did buy it from Boots a good well years ago now um, but I love all the Ted Baker little bags that they bring out um, and yeah they've got a really nice kind of like peachy pinky kind of one that I thought would be it looks like a pencil case um, but I thought that would be a really nice one to put stuff in and this has just got lots of random bits and bobs in it so one thing I've got in here which also you would have seen in my haul video if you watched it was a portable phone charger and this is just really nice like kind of quilted it's like a mint colour but like a quilted design um, and it just charges up uh, I don't know if you can see the glowing blue on the side and then also if I hold it down long enough it has a torch as well so if I didn't blind you then. So that's really good. And then obviously I've got my cables um, to charge that up with, but also the cable to charge my phone. I have this random comb um, that I took from a, hosp a hospital, a hotel room. Um, I have got a Nivea lip butter in vanilla and macadamia. I have a little Chanel uh, compact mirror. Um, I've got number six pink shock lipstick from um, Collection, which I love this and I've completely run out of this so I need another one. Um, I've also got, and that's not Pink Shock, it's number six Bubblegum, sorry. And then number two Pink Shock, I've got that in there as well. Um, I've also got a Revlon Color Stain Moisture Stain in 020 Rio Rush. And I love that, absolutely love that. And a lot of you guys have liked that in my videos as well, so that's that one. Um, the one I'm wearing today is this Bourjois Rouge Rouge Edition Velvet, which is in number six. Yep, yeah, just number six, um, which is what I've got on today, and I really like it. It's um, it's got a really nice lip stain, like it lasts a long time. I've got a Bath and Body Works pocket bag, the Fresh Strawberries one, which is pretty much nearly out now. Um, I keep loads of like in birch boxes or glossy box that I get. I keep the um, perfume samples in this little bag and it's only because if you never know when you want to like 
we want to freshen up or something and I think it's a really good way of like using them up and trialing them so I have this little one which if I remember rightly was an Eve's Rocher one um, but yeah which I'm not really keen on um, I have this little one by Ghost Eclipse which was really really nice um, I have another little one which is by English Laundry it's English Laundry by Christopher Wicks which I absolutely loved this it smells so amazing and um, you can I think they said it was exclusive to Birchbox but I really want to buy that another lip product which is a Revlon lip butter in 080 strawberry shortcake I like my lip my lipsticks with me another lip product which is by Sleek and it's the matte mystique kind of the deep purple which I'm not really using so much now but it's probably just been left in there because it was kind of wintry stuff but it's not um I'm pulling away from the darker lips now that we're heading towards spring um I've also got a Pacifica Mediterranean fig uh, like rollerball perfume I think that's really nice it kind of smells like sun lotions it's really summery a mini little nail file um, a couple of hair bubbles I've got some hair grips and ran and lots of like little hair bits which is nice and a randomly a paper clip so that's everything in there um, I've then got in here my phone which um, I've now upgraded which I love to the iPhone 6 um, and I got it in gold and I'm going to be doing um, an updated what's on my phone video with like my case collections and stuff because I've gone a bit mad on buying um, phone cases but that will probably also go up the same probably will go up this week actually so you'll have a updated what's in my bag and an updated what's on my phone kind of week um, but I love it I have got a toffee crisp because I had to go to work today yeah I've got a toffee crisp because you never know when you need to snack um, I've also got um, the compact uh, tangle teasers I got this for Christmas from Dan in my stocking and it's the golden black one and I absolutely love it I love it so much I love how the case protects it um, so that's really good I have my work badge which I'm not going to show you um, I have got my sunglasses which are just these Ray-Bans which are kind of the red um, and gold well they're kind of like sort of red and orange they create like this ready kind of pinky tone with the kind of brushed pale gold trim uh, I bought them when I went to the airport when Dan and I went on holiday to Turkey last summer um, I've also got in here my car keys and on my car keys I just have um, a few other key rings I've got something that I got when I went to New York something from uh, when my friend went to Australia something that I bought when I went to London and uh, my house keys and things um, I've also got in here this little birch box um, like zippy pouch thing which um, I got this was it a month or two ago I can't remember which edition it was and this is where I just keep all um, sort of any pills or anything and so I've got my stuff for my migraines I've got paracetamol like ibuprofen um, what else is in here and some travel sickness pills because I get motion sickness so it's a good thing to have in there I have a nice purple pen I have got a um, memory stick because when I'm at work I never know like if I've got to put a presentation on or something and I just like to carry it around with me because I think it's handy to use um, I've also got in here a thing from body form which just keeps um, lady bits and bobs in that you never know when mother nature hits and it's like a nice little backup without actually having to show um, what the product is it's kind of in a nice case and then the last couple of things I've got in here is ooh, one another pen um, a thing that broke off because I've got a citron a thing that broke off my um, key rings but it's got my contact details for my dealership and then this um, red uh, what is it um, an umbrella cover which I don't have my umbrella in there but I don't know why I've got the umbrella cover but I have and that is everything there's just then the label right at the bottom of the bag so you can see you can actually carry quite a lot of stuff in this bag which I love it's got everything that I need and I really really love the bag and it's going to be perfect to take on holiday 
um, I just think it's really really good if you're like going if you're going shopping or you're going around the city for work I've got to admit I have kind of fallen in love with it so yeah so that's everything that's in my current bucket bag I hope you guys have enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you've liked it and I'll see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>